history beckons. Fifty years since Manly made us wince, we remember November 22nd. With eyes on 64, LBJ stayed, he tore Kennedy, John Fitzgerald came calling. Impeccably dressed, Jackie's taste was the best when something happened so appalling. JFK's weakness was chicks like Marilyn Monroe, with her he was all touch of feeling. But little did he know in Oswald he had a foe lying away in a plaza called Dealey. His president's go, he was better than most. Oswald's mind was like Wonderland's Alice. Rods in his hand, or was it something less bland when they flew from Fort Worth down to Dallas? Heading for the trademark, umbrella man gave a stall, and badge man leaned over the railing. Three shell casings found on the sniper's nest ground, Lee Harvey's aim true wasn't failing. The president was late and the lunch had to wait when the Marxists from Russia succeeded. At Parkland they waited with their death baited, DOA they finally conceded. The corporate then fled as Walter Conkite said, the JFK died in the big deal. His tip had pulled up, the Oswald was abrupt, again shots rang out as he did flee. It's all over now, everyone heard him shout, so much for hiding out at the movies. They booked him for the crime, but he wouldn't do the time, cause out of the shadows just stepped Jack Ruby. Oliver Stone said he didn't act alone, Zapruder showed JFK fell back. Everyone jumped on board, joined the conspiracy hordes who couldn't be bothered by the facts. It's been 50 years since the world was in tears, we now know who did it for certain. We hardly as bored a man history called to change the world with rods for curtains.